Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an episode in which we talk about one of the most frequently asked questions we've had for a while. We're getting that question inside of Patreon, but we're seeing it pop up in our YouTube comments as well. So let's talk about it. And that thing is green notices. For those of you who may or may not know, I think almost everybody at this point knows what a red notice is when it comes to Interpol. And a red notice is a notice that is given out by a law enforcement agency to other countries to say, hey, if this person passes through your passport control or you know gets found at your border, please arrest that person immediately. That's a red notice. There are also other types of notices that have other meanings, you know, especially if like you're a missing child and they're looking for you, they have a notice for that. But the green notice is something that's kind of popped up on Reddit, popped up in YouTube, and people are now asking, is the United States using green notices in order to track sex offenders or have them stopped at the borders or entry points in other countries? Well, in order to explain that, I need to first explain how this system actually works. So in the United States, if they are conducting a criminal investigation on someone and they think that this person is going to travel internationally, they want to let the country who's going to be receiving this person, or really, I guess any country, know that this person is under investigation for a crime and you may want to watch them while, you're inside of, while they're inside of your country in case they engage in criminal activity in that country. So what would happen is the State Department, and I mean the United States State Department, not the state of Georgia, not California, because individual states can't do this, but the federal State Department sends a notice to Interpol in Belgium. Now, inside of Belgium is a clearinghouse where all these notices come from all over the world, and they are entered into a computer. So it's really just a bureaucratic thing that they're doing. And so that you know, Interpol is not an actual police agency. It's Nobody's running around with a badge on it that says Interpol, and nobody arrests you in the name of Interpol. It's, it's not how it works. Interpol is merely an association or affiliation of criminal, uh, what do you call it, uh, law enforcement agencies around the world, and they just pass information back and forth. That's all it is. So in let's do a hypothetical where the United States think, thinks that someone's going to travel to Germany, where I live, and they want this person tracked by the German police. So this, the United States State Department would send a green notice to Belgium, to Interpol. It would get entered in the computer, and then that's it. It's, it's just in the computer. And once this person enters the airport in, let's say, Frankfurt, when they have their passport scanned, a note is literally a green block comes up on their computer and they know to check this person. Now, a lot of times, the only thing that's going to happen is the police are not going to tell these people that there's a green nose. They're just going to follow them or they're going to put, you know, uh, some kind of surveillance on them. Or a lot of times, depending on what the green notice is for, the local government may not care at all because keep in mind What may be a crime in the United States is not a crime in every other jurisdiction. And that's an important point because for Germany, in this example, to act on a specific case and let's say interrogate this person or even arrest this person, which that would be a red notice, not a green one, it would have to be a similar crime between the two countries. Having said that, Germany is not going to enforce a lot of the American laws over here. The whole point of the International Megan's Law is specifically to track sex offenders. That is specifically what it's used for. For the United States to then tack on green notices for sex offenders who are traveling runs the risk of diluting the system. It runs the risk of other countries after a while just not taking green notices seriously because, oh, here we go, another green notice from the United States for something that may or may not be a crime in our jurisdiction. So for that reason, the United States almost assuredly is not using green notices on every sex offender that travels. However, of course, there's always going to be an exception. If someone were suspected or under investigation for, let's say, sex trafficking internationally or going on sex tourism trips, that would be an appropriate use for a green notice. And that's probably the kind of green notice that a foreign government would pay attention to. So yes, in limited circumstances, green notices might be used. But for the vast majority of sex offenders traveling, they're just going to be governed by the International Megan's Law. 
I can tell you that in the last oh two weeks, maybe three weeks, we've had quite a few people in our group travel to Germany and did not have any problem getting into the country. And in fact, we're not even stopped by the police for interrogation. So for those of you in our Patreon group, you know exactly who I mean. These people had no trouble. So again, there's I think there's more evidence to argue against the issuance of green notices in general and more toward maybe green notices are used for very specific cases. More often than not, it's going to be the international Megan's Law. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beg you not to give in to conspiracy theories. I know it's very easy to do when you've been on the registry, especially if you've been on the registry for a while. You think everybody's out to get you. You think that every government on the planet is out to get you. It's just not true. It, It just isn't. And we know this because people are coming and going freely in Germany all the time. People on the registry, people who we know by name. So until next time, my friends, if you're not happy with your situation, it's on you to do something about it. And don't let a fear of green notices stop you. Till next time. Cheers.